All right, when you're cleaning the lenses, whether eyepieces or objectives, always use clean Q-tips. Um, never reuse, always use once, discard, and start with fresh clean, whether it be your solution or your Q-tips. Always keep things clean. We'll start out with cleaning of the microscope, and we'll start with uh, compressed air just to release any debris that might be loose. Uh, any loose dust can be abrasive, so we need to remove that. From that point, we will clean the eyepieces. This thumb screw here releases the binocular body. Just back that off enough to release the head. From that point, we can clean the eyepieces. I will use some lens cleaner. And I will start with a wet cotton swab. Dampen it with a circular motion. Start in the center. Work your way out, and then go back with the dry cotton swab. And then same procedure for the other eyepiece. Start with the wet, start in the center, work your way out with the dry one. And then a s small light comes in handy if you want to check, make sure your eyepieces are clean. Once those are clean, you can set that aside. And then we'll go on to the objectives. Start with the low power. Remove the objective. And the inside should be fine, just release the dust. The exposed lens, you'll want to do the same procedure with a dampened cotton swab, and then you go back with a dry one. Start in the center, circular motion, then with your dry one, same procedure. Now you want to do this, do this procedure with all the objectives. A little air to the inside. The outside, start with your wet swab. Go back with your dry. As these lenses get to a higher power, this is your low power, the 4X, 10X, and as the power of magnification power gets higher, the lens gets smaller and is harder to see. So then an eye loop will come in handy. A magnification factor of two or three. Take that and look at your front lens. And then you'll use a smaller dry and dampened cotton swab. There again, start in center, work your way out with the wet, and then back with the dry.
Now this high power lens, the 100x magnification, may have some oil on it because it is an oil immersion objective. And the lens cleaner may not be strong enough to cut it. This one is clean, so it will go well. If you need to remove a considerable amount of oil, then it is best to use a slight amount of xylene or xylol alcohol and then go back after that with lens cleaner. Okay, from that point we'll move down to the mechanical stage. We'll take just a paper towel and we'll rub down the stage and the microscope. I will add just a little lens cleaner to the towel. That'll help clean the stage. Then from there with your towel, cons uh, continue on down the microscope. Now you have a lower lens here which covers the light that's illuminated from the base. That lens is too hard to clean with the cotton swab so Use a, a tissue of some type or paper towel and dampen that. Go over your lens and then back with dry portion. Okay, now you'll see Below this, at stage level, level and just below, you'll see this um, part of the microscope here. That is called your substage condenser. It uh, condenses the light into a smaller beam, more concentrated beam, once it hits your slide and your objective. But it also has a diaphragm. Here is the substage condenser, and here you may be able to see that diaphragm. We will clean the subst uh, substage condenser and also this lens. Now to clean the lenses, I'll go back to the cotton swabs, dampen one. Start with the center location of the lens, work your way out. Same with the dry. Check and make sure the lens is clean. It works well to have some overhead light so that you can reflect off of that and 
check your lens that way. Now all your lenses are clean. Your lower lens here over the light. And your lens on your substage condenser, objectives, and the eyepieces. There is a lens on the bottom side of the binocular body. And that appears to be clean. If there's a little dust, just use compressed air. If that is dirty, then use the same procedure. Wet cotton swab, start in the center, work your way out, and then go back with a dry cotton swab. These eyepiece tubes on this particular model have a screw inside approximately here and that puts tension on the tube of the eyepiece to, to uh, hold it into place. That can be removed so that your eyepiece will come out if you need to remove some dust inside or it will also make it easier to clean the front lens. When those are, when the eyepieces are out, it's, you can also use compressed air to blow any dust that might be within the head, binocular body. And then once those are clean, just reinsert the eyepieces, secure them with this little screw here. And don't tighten too tight, just snug. We'll do the same with the other side and they are secure. This eyepiece tube is fixed, so if you're right eye dominant, you focus on your slide with this eyepiece, and then you adjust the left to match. From this point, you'd put your slide on the stage, swing in either your low power or 10 power, and focus on your specimen. Okay, now I'll show the bulb replacement. Uh, this is your base. This is the access door to the bulb. Here's the bulb and just remove that it pulls directly out pin type halogen bulb 6 volt 20 watt when you install the new bulb make sure the bulb is covered clean either gloves do not touch with your hands this bulb can be installed either direction just so that the pins match up the hole here and your hands are not touching the bulb directly. Insert into the lamp socket and then close the access door. Okay now at the base of the microscope there is a lens. It is uh, what we call frosted. It, it can appear as it's dirty or smeared, 
but actually it's intended to be that way to disperse the light. This light control knob also needs to be removed in order to release. This slot right here is the open area for accessing the set screw to your light control knob which needs to be removed when you remove your electrical panel here. So just run your 1.5 millimeter screw driver in there, attach to the screw, set screw, release it, and then release your knob. And then knob goes back on, tighten on the set screw, and it's secure. And then remove the knob. To remove this bottom panel, you only need to remove six screws. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Basically just the outer screws. Do not remove these or that one. Now you can remove the base. There's your electronics portion. Okay, when you're cleaning the, the base lens of the microscope, only clean the top portion, the outer portion. Never come into the base portion there and try and clean that or remove anything from there. Should only be the outside top portion. At the end of the day, a couple final tips for you would be remove any excess oil from the oil immersion objective and always use clean immersion oil. Never mix new with old existing oil. You'll contaminate your new oil. Always use clean uh, lens cleaner. And uh, thank you for watching the video.